in this lesson, we'll be looking at taking sentences and writing equations out of sentences or word sentences. So to do that, what we need to do is know how to interpret what different words mean. So some of these words might be review, but we're going to look at some different words that mean addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So when we're talking about addition, one of the major words that's used is sum, S-U-M. Uh, but we may also see more than, plus, add, adding, increased by, in all, all together. All of these things could mean in addition. Subtraction is the opposite. Most of these words are just opposites, but one of the main words here is difference. The difference between two numbers means you're subtracting them. So also less than, take away, minus, subtract, or subtracted from, decrease by. All of these words can mean subtraction. Multiplication, the main word we often see is product, but we may also see times, multiply, and some specific ones, double, if we see like double, that would mean times two, triple times three, twice times two, something like that. And then division, our main word is quotient, but we all may also see divided by, cut up into parts, half, so divided by two, or even thirds, divided by three, some specific words. But we're going to watch for these words as we translate sentences into equations, and we're also going to look at this list of words for equals. Uh, so one word that might be used is is, or the same as, equals, equivalent, gives, identical to, or yields. All of these words are possible words that can mean equals. So we'll see examples of these in some sentences. Let's take a look. So one sentence here, we have, keeping it simple to start with, the sum of 3 and a number is 14. So remember the word sum means addition, and we also have is. Remember that the word is often means equals. So we look at the sum of what? The sum of three and a number. When we see this word a number, it means it's a number we don't know. We can pick a variable for it. We're going to pick x for, them, for all of these. So what we'd say is the sum of three and a number is three plus x is or equals 14. 3 plus x equals 14. Now here we're not going to solve it, we're just taking the sentence and putting it into an equation, but we know how to solve that too, hopefully, from the previous lesson. So going on to the second one, we see the difference. Now if we look back, difference was subtraction. The difference between 3 times a number and 10 equals 32. So we see times, we see this multiplication, and equals. So let's start with the first part. It says the difference between what? Well, one thing it says is between 3 times a number. So that's saying 3 times, and let's do a dot since that's confusing, 3 times x and 10. So we're doing 3x, 3 times a number, and 10, and we're taking the difference. We're subtracting those, and it says this is equal to 32. 3x minus 10 equals 32 is what we get out of that sentence. And the last one here on this page says the quotient. Now, if we remember, quotient is division. So the quotient of a number in 3 increased by 5 is the same as 15. Well, let's start with that word quotient. It's the quotient of what? A number, so x, and 3. So that's to say x divided by 3, or if we write it, x over 3. We, in algebra equations, we often write our division as a fraction. 
So x over 3, and then it says it's what? It's increased by 5. So increased by tells us addition. So that fraction is increased by 5, so plus 5. And that's all the same as, so equals 15. x over 3 plus 5 equals 15 would be our answer. So those are some simple examples where we have something basic on the left side equals a number. Uh, we're going to look at a few more complicated examples here that get a little more complex. So this number 4 here says, Three more than the product of six and y is equivalent to 15. Well, we see three more than. So if we're talking about more than, then we're doing addition. And then it says the product of six and y. Here it doesn't say a number, but it tells us our variable. So three more than, so three more than six and y the product of 6 and y, so product is multiplying, so 6 times y is equivalent to, so that equals 15. 3 plus 6y equals 15. It's possible you could also write this as uh, 6y plus 3 equals 15. we're having some video issues here. We'll fix this. There we go. Okay, so continuing on. Six times the sum of a number and eight is equal to the quotient of the same number and five. So we have a lot of things going on here. Six times the sum, uh, so it says 6 times the sum, so we're multiplying 6 by a sum. So we have multiplying here, but then we have the sum of a number and 8. So how we would write that, we have 6 times something, but it's a sum, so we'll write a parenthesis here, 6 times x and 8, x plus 8. And if we do that, we have 6 times x plus 8 is equal to, but now there's more on the other side, the quotient of the same number in 5. So if we're talking about the same number, we mean x, and a quotient is division. So we're doing x divided by 5. So this is saying 6 times x plus 8 equals x over 5. And that would be our equation there. Number six, this one we see the word half. So half of the difference between two times a number and seven. So let's stop there. They say half of the difference, and then we go on from there. We can write half as divided by two or times one half. Uh, so I'm going to actually write it as times one half outside and put a parentheses. And then it says the difference, so something subtracting, between 2 times a number and 7. So 2 times a number is 2x minus 7. And then that gives or equals double. So now we're talking about double the same number decreased by 4. So now we have double something, double the same number decreased. So decreased by would be minus 2 times x minus 4. And that would be our equation there. The last one we'll look at is if we have 6 subtracted from x. Now something to be careful here is the word subtracted from. We know that this is minus, and we might think it's 6 minus x. But it says 6 is subtracted from x. If we write this, this means x is subtracted from 6. We don't want that. 6 subtracted from x means x minus 6. And that's equivalent to equals 16 less than 2x. 
if we're talking about 16 less than 2x. Again, think about if we take, what this is literally saying is we're taking it 2x and making it 16 smaller. So it's not 16 minus 2x, but 2x minus 16. So you want to be careful with that subtraction language because it, it can be tricky to think about which order we subtract things, but order does matter with subtraction, so we do have to pay attention to which is minusing which. Uh, so these are some possible examples uh, of what you'll see. Uh, just remember, break everything down using this list of words for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and equals. And if you use those, you'll be able to take any sentence and turn it into equation. Uh, well, so you can, can move on to the practice assignment, and then once you finish that, do the assessment.